All right, we take a look at the tail of the tape here as we get ready for the IBF Intercontinental Championship fight. Both fighters the same age. Slight height advantage for Obed Sullivan. Almost 21 pound weight advantage for Thomas Williams and yet a one inch reach advantage for Sullivan. Bob, Williams looks like a fairly firm 246. That 21 pounds gonna enter into this, be a big factor? I don't really see where he's put it, you know, I mean, it, it's, uh, I look at his record and, you know, he was, the highest he ever fought was about two and a quarter, I, I don't, I don't buy that, I mean, he doesn't look like he's gained that much weight, and, uh, I mean, maybe he is, but I, mean, I don't, I don't see it on him, you know, both guys are in tremendous condition, they're both, you know, they're right down with, you know, seven or eight percent body fat for heavyweight, but, uh, you know, if the, if the scale says he weighed 246, he did. Oh, we got a slight delay going on here. The ring rope broke at the tail end of our James Gain Thomas Williams fight. Excuse me, James Gain's Tim Noble fight, where both fighters with a combined weight of almost 600 pounds fell on the top rope, breaking the ropes. They thought they had them back together, and then jumping into the ring, Thomas Williams came in, pushed down the top rope, the ring collapsed, ropes collapsed one more time. Referee Larry Cole right now asking for a screwdriver to tighten the turnbuckles. Now there's a take charge referee. Yeah. Yeah, with his own toolkit. Well, he doesn't get paid if the fight doesn't go on, so, you know. I think that's a big part of what's happening here. Looks like they're starting to get things under control. Yeah, both fighters are amped up. I mean, they, they face off Oh, it's got to be very, around. I mean, for fighters right now to be in the ring this long, under the hot lights, waiting for about to start, very disconcerting for them. 
They've been given the referee's instructions. We're gonna go up to Shelly Mann. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. Department of Licensing and Regulations for the State of Texas sanctioning this title fight. Your executive director is Jack Garrison. Boxing coordinator Rick Valdez. Boxing inspectors Bob Simpson and Dickie Cole. Judges for this title fight, Jerry McKenzie, Ronnie Ralston, and Barry Yates. Your referee is Lawrence Cole, attending ringside physician, Dr. Buddy Garrison, and timekeepers Lloyd and Roscoe McFarland. Okay, here we go with the main event. 12 rounds of boxing, the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. We take you to the blue corner, where we introduce to you the challenger, weighing in at 219 pounds. He is wearing black and white trunks. His professional boxing record, 13 victories. One defeat includes seven by knockouts. From Washington, D.C., here is Thomas Williams. And now we take you to the red corner, where we introduce to you the champion. He weighed in at 225 pounds, wearing gold trunks. His professional boxing record of 10 victories, one defeat, and one draw includes six by knockouts. He is from Houston, Texas. He is the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Obed Sullivan, 12 rounds of boxing. All right, gentlemen, I gave your instructions earlier today in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times, understood? All right, let's touch them up, good luck. Referee Lawrence Cole giving the instructions there. Scheduled for 12 rounds. Finally got the ring ropes together. Well, Bob, I gotta tell you, I'm not, I'm not confident that if these guys lean on these ropes that they're not gonna collapse one more time. Well, I mean, uh, they sure didn't, uh, they didn't pass Mr. Williams' acid test that he gave him. Williams comes out very fast. He's in the black shorts with the white fringe. Bet Sullivan, the IBF Intercontinental champ, he's in the gold shorts. Break. Sullivan won this title. Devastating first round knockout of Curtis Shepard. That was back June 17th of this year. Two good young heavyweight prospects out here. You know, both of these guys could end up going someplace in the heavyweight division, and or certainly one of them is going to take control of his own destiny right here today. But this is a heck of a matchup we've got here. Well, the schedule for 12. Neither fighter's ever been past eight. They don't look like they want to carry it into the late rounds, though. Sullivan, he's got six knockouts in his 10 wins. Thomas Williams, he's got 17 in his. 13 wins. Oh. No knockdown. We got a minute 45 to go yet in round number one. Referee Lawrence Cole rules it a slip. Williams not wasting any time. He's getting, having a good, strong start to this fight. Punch into the body and then moving up to the head. Here comes Obed. Good body work from Williams. Lawrence Cole having a little trouble separating the fighters. Good head movement on the part of Williams. Williams a veteran 14 fights as opposed to Sullivan's 11, although Sullivan's a champ. Really nice body work from Williams. Under a minute to go in round number one. It's scheduled for 12 with the Will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth, Texas on heavyweight explosion. Good overhand right lands on Sullivan. Sullivan pinned in the corner. Looks like he's in a little bit of trouble. Larry Cole gives instruction. Chuck McGregor yelling up at his fighter, Obed Sullivan, trying to tell him what to do, stay out of trouble. Heads came together yeah, a little bit I was gonna say, there. Sullivan dropped in a headbutt just for good measures. We're under 20 seconds to go in the first round. It's been a pretty good first round, too. Good 
body work by Thomas Williams early in this fight. Very good. Bringing the hands down on Obed Sullivan, too. Round number two of a scheduled 12-rounder for the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Champion Obed Sullivan. He's in the gold shorts. Says Sullivan across the front. That he'll help you out. Thomas Williams, the challenger. He's in the black shorts with the white fringe trim. He's 13-1. He's got seven knockouts. Hails out of Washington, D.C. 24 years of age. Quick. Sullivan, 26. Both fighters started their career in 1992. Williams getting off with his punch is much better than Obed, and I don't, I don't, don't try to read too much into that. Real nice potty work by Williams here, but... Sullivan's letting himself get trapped in the corner again like he did in the first round. That's where Williams really went to work on him. Body punch is taking its toll, and you're going to start to see Sullivan's hands come down if he can continue that kind of a body attack. I think Obed Sullivan, he's, so, he's in such tremendous condition. He's so confident in his conditioning that sometimes he gives away things. I mean, what he's losing is he's losing points right now with those body punches. And now he's trying to return the favor and, and get down on Williams' but body himself. Williams doesn't want to lay on the ropes. Fights much better when he's not laying on him. He needs a little bit of punching room. Sullivan very good in close. It was that kind of range where he knocked out Curtis Shepard in that exact same corner. Nice pace for heavyweights here. We got a fight broke out in here, Arnie. Just keep your eye on the ropes, folks. 600 pounds of heavyweights broke them in our last fight. In case you're just joining us, that was James Gaines and Tim Noble right now. Very good, crisp action as we're in the second round, a little less than a minute to go. They're landing bombs in there, Bob. No, they really are, and both guys are very capable punchers, but I mean, it's tit for tat. They're exchanging punches in there, working each other's bodies, and... We continue bringing you great action here on Heavyweight Explosion on the Cedric Krishna Sports Network. Real good. Body work now on the part of, of uh, Obed Sullivan. Yeah, he's, he's returning the favor. Both guys in there jockeying for position, getting what, getting what their opponent's giving them and taking that. Nice left hook by Williams. Williams has seven knockouts in his 13 wins. Sullivan, six. Last one coming in the first round against Curtis Shepard for this title. We come to the end of round number two. We're scheduled for 12 on Heavyweight Explosion. Hey. Round number three, and Chuck McGregor in Obed Sullivan's corner telling him, keep the pressure on. They're so Both corners saying that the fighter doesn't like you getting yeah. hit in the body, too. Who does? <laughs> But I mean, they're, they're so, Chuck is so confident. He's got old Pitt Sullivan up there in the mountains working, and he's so confident in, in this kid's work ethic and his conditioning level that he just, he wants him to be in a fight. He wants him exchanging punches. He's got a real good chin, and they've got a lot of confidence in the long haul. The long haul in this case could be 12 rounds. Neither fighter, though, has been past eight. Warning by referee Lawrence Cole. Keep the blows up. Obed Sullivan, the champ, he's in the gold shorts. Starting to find the range now, working very good inside. Good crisp uppercuts, and then it's returned by the challenger, Thomas Williams, in the black shorts with the white trim. Besides, that's not where he wants to be. Starts to work the outside a little bit, and he tries to trade jabs with Sullivan and gets counterpunched and now driven up against the ropes. And it's that jab that set up this sequence, Bob. Yeah, Sullivan countering with a nice jab of his own. Seems like he's just getting into the flow of this thing here. There. Williams started very fast, but he's not he's not having this his way with Obed like he was in the first round. Halfway gone here in round number three.
feel the momentum of the fight shifting, though, definitely towards the champion, Obed Sullivan, at this point. Just as I say that, Williams comes alive with the four unanswered uppercuts, and back comes Obed Sullivan. Blistering pace for heavyweights. I mean, this thing doesn't look like it's, it's going to go 12 like we talked about. Could they go eight? And they're fighting in a bandbox here. This is a 16-foot ring. So there's not much place for anybody to hide. <laughs> Referee Lawrence Kuehl letting him fight on the inside. You look at Obed Sullivan, you know, he didn't have a ton of amateur experience, and certainly he's only got 11 pro fights before today. Seems very relaxed in there. Gloves open, carrying. 26 years of age. Champion Obed Sullivan, Thomas Williams, 24. But when you consider where Obed Sullivan was a year ago, and look where he is right now, you can see in the heavyweight division what a difference a day can make. Five seconds to go as we come to the end of round number three. Good one for the champion, Obed Sullivan. Round number four of a schedule of 12 rounder. And it looks like the instructions from the corner of Thomas Williams worked. They told him to be first. And he was first to cross that ring and rocked Obed Sullivan. Oh, and a devastating body shot. Thomas Williams shakes his head, but I felt that body shot over here, Bob. You guys in great condition in here. Two young lions roaming around in front of the lions then, Artie. Obed, surprised didn't go right back to that body shot. Right, let me Williams tell you, though, he's on his, rope. Yeah, but Williams is on his bicycle. He's trying to get his win back, and now he gets hit. Looks to referee Lawrence Cole to complain about getting hit in the back. Which he did. Part of it, though, was instinct. He turned because yeah. he didn't want to take another body shot. His hands are down and are trying to protect the body, and Obed Sullivan's headhunting right now because he knows that he's got the hands of Thomas Williams down protecting his body. He didn't like that body shot. <laughs> Left hook dug to the body there. Sullivan yelling once to the pole, solar plexus, then once to the chin. Williams complaining about the low blows. Watch your elbow, watch your elbow. Let go of him, Danny, let go. A little more than a minute to go here in the fourth round. We'll have to see if Thomas Williams can get settled down here. He doesn't want to start arguing with the referee or anybody else right now. He's got his hands full with Obed Sullivan. Oh, and he's, he's keeping his hands very low, and Aaron Great! Oh, he's hurt real bad, Bob. Obed Sullivan from body work brought down the hands of Thomas Williams. From the start to finish, he's looking around for some instruction from his corner. Trying to get some feeling back in his leg, and it's all over. Obed Sullivan defends the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship as he stops Thomas Williams here in round number four. Sullivan opened up this round with a devastating body shot. Williams never recovered, gradually kept his hands down. His hands continued to be brought down throughout the round. His head was standing there, wide open. As you can see the, you can see the strategy, Bob, as the hands just kept being brought down, brought down. The body work worked beautifully. This is my And and Thomas Williams just left his head unprotected, and you can't do that with a puncher like Obed Sullivan. It was like the, what's the classic cliche? Kill the body. The head will die. Yep. You'll take a look at Williams' hands just down there trying to protect that body, and boom! Short right hand, Obed Sullivan. 
improves to 11-1-1. One one. But that doesn't KO. say at all. That doesn't say at all. I mean, he's really gotten a lot accomplished in, in 12 professional fights, 13. Thomas Williams, he drops to 13-2. and two. And we're going to go up to our ring announcer, Shelly Mann, with the official call. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, two minutes, 29 seconds of the fourth round, the winner by a knockout, and still, IBC Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Obed Sullivan. Let's have a nice hand for Thomas Williams. Obed Sullivan. Defends the IBF Intercontinental Championship belt. in classic fashion. The champ from Texas! Again, Game round number four was a beautiful body Texas. attack. Brought the hands of Thomas Williams down. And Bob, it was like, you know, We're gonna have a I don't know how to say it without sounding like a cliche, but it was classic boxing strategy. He went to the body, landed that big shot very early in the fourth round, and, and never got unsettled, you know, when he had Williams some problems never, early on. never recovered. Never recovered from the body shot. I think the pace of the fight, I mean, even early on, uh, you know, got him a little worked up. He came out strong himself, wanting to wanting to set a pace, and when Sullivan wouldn't let him, I think that's what made the difference. 